A sexually violent predator is still in custody after a judge denied his immediate release this morning in a Roseville courtroom. We've been tracking the case of William Stevenson for months now. It comes after he was approved for conditional release in Placer County. It's the first time in eight years a sexually violent predator would have been released in the county, and it's the first time ever they would have been released as a transient. Now the judge overseeing his case is pumping the brakes on his release. ABC 10's Bridget Bjorlo reports. More than 200 people put their concerns on paper over the potential release of sexually violent predator William Stevenson, writing letters to Superior Court Judge Garen Horst to keep the repeat offender in custody at the Department of State Hospitals. The number one priority in this entire process is public safety, and the Placer County community has spoken loudly. Before a packed courtroom Friday, Judge Horst upheld his January 2022 decision for Stevenson's conditional release, but vowed to not set him free until proper safeguards are in place, instructing supervising entity Liberty Healthcare to explore a possible location in Placer County where Stevenson can reside in a parked RV, be closely monitored, and still receive treatment. It's not ideal. Uh, Mr. Stevenson's release needs to be a, to a secure facility. I, I'm skeptical that a RV on a piece of property will fulfill all of the requirements uh, necessary to monitor his safety and to set him up for success with his treatment. So until a location satisfies all that, we won't agree to any specific location or his release at all. The site being considered would come with an address made public to the community, similar to Stevenson's first release from custody in 2014. Bonnie Gore remembers it well. Stevenson lived in her neighborhood. Our neighbors were furious about having Mr. Stevenson released into our neighborhood back then. Um, and the one thing I did realize is that because we knew where he lived, every neighbor in my community knew where he lived and where he was, and so everyone was watching. The latest proposal comes after over 1,200 failed plans by Liberty, which has spent the past 18 months searching for adequate housing for Stevenson. His attorney arguing in court that delaying his client's release any further violates his right to due process. We're thinking too much about his rights. What about his survivors? As the court tries to strike a balance between following the law and protecting victims. Bridget, thank you. Well, next, the judge has set a status conference for September 20th. It's to determine Liberty Healthcare's progress on the case. You can see our full coverage and updates of this story on our website, abc10.com.